Hello guys, this is Pounce from Headball2. I just want to share a quick video today on something that is quite, that is very interesting in terms of cards. And um, I'm going to give you the arithmetic and the mathematics behind. So um, I'm just finishing up the season here. Doing pretty well, 453 and 2. So I'm going to finish third probably, um, worse fourth. But anyways, let's get back to business. And every 18 hours or 24 hours, um, there might be a break in between. You will see on the left here that you have a new character that is available to, to being upgraded, um, where you get the cars, not upgraded. So here we're talking about Dwarf Paladin, which is a legendary character who's here, right? And normally when you want to actually get cards for a character, um, you know, you'd go here, for example, and you want to get cards, right? And it takes you to the store and you can see that the icon is moving, right? So if we go back to Dwarf Paladin, which was here, um, if you wanted to get cards, you would actually have, you know, like if I go here, this one can be upgraded because I'm maxed out on him. But um, if I wanted to get this one, for example, you click on the plus icon here and you can see that you can get them through the legendary pack and the mega pack. Now, what you must not forget is in these packs, any kind of these packs, you do not know what you're going to get. So it's gambling. Um, there is a preset algorithm that lets you get cards for certain characters that you are filling. Um, and then as you complete them, it will switch to other characters, other characters. But my point is that, for example, in a pack of 10, because here we have to look at, you know, you get 20 cards. 10 of them are actually character cards. No, I'm sorry. 15 of them are character cards. Um, and then five of them are skill cards. Okay. So um, you don't know what you're going to get. So is this actually a good deal? And the answer is yes, it is a pretty good deal. And I will tell you why. If you look at a legendary character pack here, it costs 100 and you get 10 cards, okay? So a legendary character actually costs you, if you were to get a card, one card costs you 10 diamonds. And it's exactly the same for here, because if you actually do 150 and you take 20 cards, you minus five skill cards, you are actually at 15. So the card is at 10. So what you want to do here is you want to actually purchase um, these cards. Right, you want to actually purchase these cards because we remember that one card actually is worth 10. So what I do is I keep purchasing, right? I keep purchasing the cards here for characters that are not completed and they will give you cards for characters that are not completed most of the time. And I like to actually keep going and, you know, just maximizing until the card is actually 10. So I'm doing a pretty good deal here because every time I'm buying a card, you see, um, it stays at five and then it goes to, I mean, every, every card pretty much. Um, on every number, um, you get two or three cards, and as you move up, um, it will it will decrease. So I usually stop at about eight, depending on my diamond count. I mean, I do have a lot of diamonds, but I'm going to use some of them um, to play play of the match later. So I usually um, go to about nine, is what I would go to. And there you go. See, I've acquired, I was at 492, so um, I've acquired... Um, you know, 492.8, I've acquired 21 cards and it didn't cost me um, 20 times 10. It didn't cost me 200 uh, diamonds. It cost me way less than that. So I just wanted to share this video. It's a tip actually. Um, and um, it's quite it, it's, it's quite nice. You just want to monitor it and um, just make sure that you actually calculate the price that it costs. And as we said, 10 cards, 100 diamonds, so a card is 10. So here you want to really watch out in the store when these um, characters are available because that is actually one of the few good deals that are available in this game. Um, so I just wanted to share. Um, I've got other videos on various items of the game, uh, daily missions, um, characters. I've got a lot of them coming on play of the match. I've got some strategies. They are not bulletproof, but um, there is one pre-play strategy on play of the match, which is, which is very important and you might want to pay attention to that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check my other videos and please do subscribe. I do post videos quite often. Take care, guys.